What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm going to be taking this monstrous beast of two box cart legends fused together and going on the casual ladder and bullying children with it. This Kyurem is Terra Ice with Blizzard and Freeze Dry and holding a life orb and modest. It does so much insane damage and this Ninetales also has helping hand if I need an even a, a little bit more of a push to just bully these children. Now, at the time of recording this, we don't know what Regulation G is going to be. It might have been announced by the time that this goes up. If Single Restricted is it, I'll have a rental code for you that I'll make, and I'll put along in the description of this video. But for now, I'm just going to keep this to myself. Anyway, if you want to see me bully some children, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get on to it. Okay, this is a Regulation F team, but it is a real powerful team. Uh, Kyurem can do well except into Entei. And I can't intimidate Entei. Uh, but I guess I can Ogre Pawn some hits into Entei. Chen Pao is also a little scary. But overall, Kyurem's start might be pretty strong. They don't they might not have weather. They might have weather on their um, little cotton ball guy there. But I'm still happy leading the ice squad. Uh, presumably they'll just bring Entei then. In which case... I mean, Incineroar doesn't do much, but it can take a hit. No, Incineroar is kind of bad here. Uh, I guess I need Ogre Pond. And probably Speed Control and Tornadus would be most important. Golden Go could be good. It might be good into at least the Enamorous and the Ferrigorath. Or I could have Tornadus for my own Speed Control. I think I like Tornadus for my own Speed Control. Kyurem going before those guys might be important. But they might just Tailwind as well. We'll have to see what happens. Now Whimsicott plus Enamorous... Oh, you have no trainer card. Whimsicott plus Enamorous is a combo I've used before, but it wasn't the same team, so I don't know how or if they're abusing that combo. Well, they did lead that combo. So they got options. They've got... A lot of options. They've got the sunny day option, they've got the fake tears option. I've got the set the weather back to snow and blizzard, and that's what I'm gonna commit to. If I, ooh, I'm either faster than an amorous or it's not terrestrializing. That's a good start. Because if they try to switch the weather up to sun and I take it back, that can be big, especially if Whimsicott goes down. Just a Moonblast, gotcha. Wasted Snowscape, fine. And a superpower, I can take that. Snow's up, yeah! Those boosts are not gonna help ya. And a double delete. <laughs> Thank you, Kyurem. Haha. <laughs> Alright, I took a lot of damage to do that, but I think it was worth it. And I can still attack three times unless I get hit. Alright, Walking Wake. That's faster. I'll need to get Tornadus in. And Entei could be faster, maybe not. We'll see. my plan B. I need to get a Tailwind up. I think for now I will protect and set Veil. That way I can then bring Kyurem out, set up Tailwind, come back into Sweep later. And Ogre Pond's looking pretty good here too. Okay, Flamethrower, we should take that with Veil. No! 
Oh, a crit. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Well, that gets my, my Tornadus in right away. And a Sacred Fire. Alright, I guess the question is what move I should be clicking with Tornadus. Well, no, I should be clicking Tailwind with Tornadus. What move should I be clicking with Kira? Because I could Earth Power the Entei, or I could Blizzard, or I could Freeze Dry the Walk. Having Ogre Pond seems important, so I think I'm willing to just launch a Blizzard Tailwind here. Worst case is they protect Wake and Entei knocks out Hiram, but they're not doing that. Extreme Speed then? Pretty sure I could take the Extreme Speed from there. Yeah, they know that. Alright, bye Wake. Yes. And decent chip into Entei. Kiram, you've done your job. Three and a half knockouts. Take a rest. No? Okay. You say so. You get one more shot. Earth power, and I'll just start throwing bleak winds. Now I might be in extreme speed range. Yeah. No, I wasn't. <laughs> I did 20 damage. Goodbye, Entei. Four KOs for Kira. Aw, oh, yeah. Okay, you didn't have a restricted, though, so I mean, like... Yeah. But it was a well-played game. Maybe. They knew what the threat was, they targeted it. It didn't work out. GG. We can go and get a trainer card, though. Okay, here we've got an expanding horse team, a regulation F team. My expanding force answer is Incineroar. And Incineroar seems pretty good against most of that team. Untera Water, so maybe not the best into Ogre Pond, but pretty decent. And what do they have to stop my Veil? Plenty. Just Tachyon Cutter, really. So maybe I don't want to set Veil. Kiram doesn't even seem that great in the lead slot. Just because of what the Expanding Horrors can do. So I'm going to lead Incineroar and something. And put my ex's heart in the back. I don't think they would Trick Room, so Tornadus could work. Uh, Golden Go could be a pretty good lead if they do go with Expanding Horrors. So I think I want the two of them. I definitely want Kiram. And then, who's the hardest thing for these three to break through would be Incineroar. So Ogre Pond last. Not even bringing Snow. Is that right? No, that's not right. We'll try it without the Ogre Pond. Because Kiram can hit Incineroar. It's not like I can't hit it at all. And having snow would help against everything else. I can get Veil up, probably, if a Tachyon Cutter isn't currently attacking me. And no trainer card here. Boo. Boo, boo, boo. Alright. Oh, it's our Tachyon Cutter friend and a Flutter Mane. Okay. Oh, and the booster's on Fluttermane. And it's speed flavor. Alright, our Golden Go is fairly bulky. But I think I'm in the mood to knock off. Because that's the threat. The main threat is the horse. So I want to knock off at that. And I mean, it's just Speed Booster Fluttermane. I could just drop a Make It Rain here. If they want their Fluttermane unprotected. I'm fine with that. No, and they just swap it out. Okay. Is this Indeedee? And they protect, maybe? It is Indeedee. He 
you must be protecting the horse then. Terastalizing the horse. I like to see that too. Is it just water though? It's oh, it's ground. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. That could be a problem. Okay, it's just ground terror blast. Uh oh. Sorry, Golden Go. I thought you were safe. Oh, you were. You're fine. And now I get good damage into that crown. Almost all of it. Oh, it was scarfed? Interesting. Yeah, very interesting. So what I need now is to get into Curum. And Ninetales. Well, if it's Scarf, it could be faster than Curum, but it's not faster than Ninetales. Kiram's my spread damage, though. Maybe I want to get Ninetales in now. And then I can Parting Shot. Yeah, it's a little risky. But I might be able to bring in both of my Ice Boys now. A helping hand. Oh, are they going to try to blow up Incineroar here? That's what it looks like. Yep, bye Incineroar. <laughs> is a force. Alright, we are going to adjust Blizzard and set up Aurora Veil. With Aurora Veil, I think I can take just about anything. And then Blizzard will get the double knockout. And that, that is putting a lot of stock in Kiram, though but it's really my best play because my Ninetales doesn't have Blizzard. This would be a great time for Ninetales to just have Blizzard. Oh, they're going for a Helping Handed boosted move. Yikes. Maybe it's a Expanding Force? Maybe it's a Tachyon Cutter into Kiram? It's another Terra Blast. Why? You're not Scarf anymore. Okay, we eat that pretty well. Goodbye, goodbye. Nice knowing y'all. Scarf Crown and Speed Booster Flutter. That's an interesting combo. Because they can't both be Speed Booster. Alright, wish I had Tornadus. I don't. <laughs> wish I still had Incineroar. But yep, they've got Fluttermane. So I need to Terra the Kyurem and Ogre Pond. That's fine. You already terra Nothing's taking this blizzard. I'm gonna take any physical move you launch on Kyurem. I've got Veil and Snow. And then on the special side, I'm not weak to Fairy anymore, so I'm good. We know you can't be Sash on either of those. So let's just throw the biggest, meanest blizzard ever. Let's send some snowy, icy destruction their way. Hear them, clean them up. Even if you do end up going last. Fluttermane's moon blasting. Barely any damage. Does get the drop though. You're faster than Ogrepan. All right, is this a double KO? Ah, uh, Fluttermane lives because of the minus one. Good job, Fluttermane. <laughs> I'm proud of you, baby. You did great. And now I'll just Blizzard and Moon Blast. GG, Flutter. 
Uh, double crit Dazzling Gleam could still win you the game, I think. Is that enough to take Kirim? You would have to crit them both. I don't know if it's enough. Uh, protect stall until the snow ends, but then I would just click freeze dry. Do 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 do. Think it out. Probably uh, running the calcs on the side, yeah. Seeing if Dazzling Gleam can pick it up. Or are you just salty that someone has a box cart legendary on casual battles? And so you're gonna timer stall. That's fine. I get it. I have a team built for a totally different regulation. Yeah. That was a good game anyway. Cool crown set. Get a card. Alright, we are matched with another crown team. Yeah. Well, in this case, I think Tornadus and Golden Go seem pretty good. Hmm. We already know this guy, he has Scarf Crown with Terra Ground, a Booster Speed Fluttermane, and an Ogre Pond that's slower than Kuro. Maybe we can bait the Terra Ground set up Tailwind and Snow, and start blasting with blizzards. I think that's gonna be my plan. You're gonna need to get a trainer card one of these days. Okay. We are facing a Incineroar. All right, Incineroar and Crown. That's fair. This might be a good time to tear a dragon nasty plot. don't have Covert Cloak, but they don't know that. So do I just go for the Tailwind now? I think I do. I'm just gonna commit- they wouldn't fake- okay, they are staying in. I don't think they would fake out toward gold, though. I think they might Terra Blast it, but they would have terastalized already if that's what they were going for. I'm gonna get my Tailwind Nasty Plot. No fake out attempt at all. Tachyon Cutter toward the Tornadus. That's fine. You can eat that. Is it a double up in Tornadus? Or are you gonna Flare Blitz the Golden Go? Knock off the Golden Go. Nice. I'm gonna now Shadow Ball to delete that. <laughs> Your swap in would be. You could swap in Didi in that slot. And I'm also gonna throw a Bleak Wind Storm just for some damage. Alright, I missed, but that wasn't my main target. And I am, in fact, faster than their Scarf Crown. Nice. Goodbye. Now, Incineroar, what mess are you gonna cause? Taking out Tornadus. That's. A oh, not taking out Tornadus. <laughs> oh, good game! <laughs> yeah, max defense Tornadus uh, can have that effect. <laughs> okay, here we've got. Uh, it's another Regulation F team, but they've got a lot of cats. Sylveon's a cat, Leafeon's a cat, Meowstic's a cat, Meowskarada's a cat, Gallade is not a cat. And there's an ogre pond, which is an ogre, so probably not a cat. But maybe she's a cat. Alright. 
Am I gonna bully them with Kira? Yes. Yes, definitely. Okay. Bullying them with Kirim. They don't seem to have any weather, so I could take weather instantly with the fox and the original dragon. What they have faster than Kirim is Ogre Pond. In fact, Fire Ogre Pond is pretty scary, so I need Incineroar. Uh, and then I could take speed with Tornadus. Or have redirection with Ogre Pond. I think redirection with Ogre Pond might be a little better. I don't think speed is going to be the most important factor here. Like, they have two Mons faster than Kira, maybe. Depending on how the Ogre Pond's trained. Meowskarata should be faster. is going to go through Veil and Intimidate, too. Meowskarata might be the most threatening thing there. Though if a blizzard passes within two miles of a Meowskarata, it just faints. Oh, and a shiny Embor? That's a cool shiny. Good card. Alright. Leafeon, Meowstic. Uh, does Meowstic get, like, Sunny Day? Is that a combo you're doing? Let's find out. Well, it does learn Sunny Day. That could be what they're going for. I think I will just launch a Freeze Dry at the Meowstic for now and try to set a fail. No, I mean, even if they set Sun, Blizzard is still gonna hit somebody, probably. And then I'll try to fail, yeah. Okay, a Terra right out the gate. What do you got? It's Leafeon. And it's Fire. Good one. Yeah, Sunny Day and then a Terra Blast could mess my day up. Especially because I just went Terra Ice, so now I'm weak to that. No defense boost from Veil or Snow if you just set Sunny Day. I could be in trouble. Is Kira about to get beat by a Leafeon? Find out next time, huh? Oh no, I am! Uh oh! Uh oh, here it goes! Okay, they're just targeting Ninetales, so I lose weather permanently. Connect a Blizzard, please. Kiram, I need you! Okay, I hit the fire type, good job. Hoo hoo For a lot of damage! Yeah, it's Incineroar time. Yeah, I'll take this opportunity just to freeze-dry Meowstic and send a fake at Leafeon's way. Because that Leafeon is genuinely a threat. And it is now gone. Good. Goodbye, Leafeon. Thank you for not targeting my Kiram. <laughs> a Thunder Wave dodges? No, goes into Incineroar. You can't do that. Sash. Yeah, that's Sash. No way were you living that. Kiram is too strong. Alright, now what do you got next to threaten me? I now know you have Thunder Wave. It is Meowskarada now. Well, Meowskarada has a choice to make. Get Flare Blitzed or get Flare Blitzed. Let's see what she chooses. I say she. Mo most Meowskaradas are male. Uh, knock off. And we blocked it. Alright, so you chose to die. But you did turn into a dark type. Oh, luring voice. I didn't know you got that. Cool. And is this enough? It is enough. Yeah, so squishy. You don't have to be weak to Flare Blitz for Flare Blitz in the sun to knock you. And this Incineroar has some attack, so... 
that does not surprise me. All right, who are we bullying next? Uh, Sylveon. Cool. I will bully it with... Should I just throw a blizzard? No, I guess I should freeze dry it. And flame blitz. Leave me out stick all alone. That'd be fine. Let's see how much this can do. I can't get the freeze because of the sun, but it should do a ton of damage. Yeah, good job. We have speed, and your other EV is deleted. Good on you for bringing all cats, but I also brought a cat, and uh, my cat is beating your cats. In fact, my cat has now killed three of your cats. In fact, I'm going to let my cat kill all of your cats. No, we're gonna leave it up to chance. I'm gonna click Blizzard. And if you dodge, you lose to the cat. You cancel, GG's. Sorry about that. Good cats, good card. I respect it. Okay, that's a cool team. It's a regulation F team, or even earlier. Regulation D, I think those were all legal. Uh, Garchomp, Urshifu, Fluttermane, Indeedee. Chen Pao and Belly Bolt. I love Belly Bolt so much. Belly Bolt is one of the first shinies I hunted in this game. So let's see. What do they have to stop Kiram? Actually, a bit. Chen Pao, Garchomp, Urshifu, Fluttermane. A lot of those can do a lot. I think I want to set Tailwind. Unless they're going Trick Room. But I think Tornadus, Kiram's a good lead. I can. Tailwind if I need it. I can set Snowscape if I need it. Water Ogre Pond seems pretty strong here. I guess I'm most worried about, like, Belly Bolt, honestly. Uh, yeah, because the Urshifu... Uh, I guess if it's a Dark Urshifu, I should have Nine Tails. I don't know which flavor of Urshifu it is. Nine Tails is pretty good all around with Moonblast. Moonblast hits a lot of those, so I should just bring it. Yeah. I don't see Golden Go doing much. It's weak to a lot of those mons. And Incineroar isn't bad. Yeah, Incineroar would've been fine too. It's not bad. But with Ndidi, I can't really be throwing fake outs around. Ooh, shiny moon picture. Nice one. All right. Belly Bolt in DD. Okay, I see. Then what's the most damage I can do? Send a Blizzard? Power check. What's Freeze Dry exactly? 70? Okay, so Blizzard single... Dual target... Blizzard will hit Indeedy stronger than a Freeze Dry would. So my best play is to Blizzard. Now the question is whether I Snowscape or swap in my Ninetales. Ninetales doesn't have Protect, but it has Aurora Veil, which could be useful. Yeah, I'm gonna go straight to Ninetales. It's also not weak to Electric, which is nice. Now I wish I had just gone with the Ninetales lead. Just throw a Helping Hand Blizzard, nothing leading that. I'm pretty certain Ndidi can live this, but I mean, it's a Kyurem White. If there's a spread move that can knock out an Ndidi, it's this one. And no Protect from Belly Bolt? Uh-oh, I might not need to knock out Ndidi. Ooh, a Freeze! And yet you get your Electromorphosis, that's gonna hurt. But the damage- Oh! Oh, a Rain Dance! Interesting play. Too bad it got you nowhere. Time to bully you. <laughs> 
Indeedee's, oh, Indeedee's going for priority. No, not gonna happen. No follow me's for you, not that it would matter. Let's get rid of that rain so we can connect these blizzards. Goodbye, goodbye. I expect a lot of Groudons and Kyogres and Koridons to be relevant, so that's why I have Snowscape on this Ninetales. It might be a little bit overkill to have it here and on Tornadus, but Ninetales being able to be on the field and just set up snow like that is excellent. And it's Water Sheaf. And Garchomp. Well, they haven't burned Terra yet. I'm guessing it's time they do. I'm just gonna launch a blizzard and try to set Veil. They're definitely gonna terrestrialize something, probably the Chomp. And if they have like Scarf Shifu, they could double up into Kyurem, maybe knocking it out? I do have the snow defense boost after all. Nope, not Scarf, I just get Veil. Yeah, you're not knocking it out with a double up. Oh, Brick Break! Nice. No Veil. Good job. And then Fire Terra Blast. I think I can still take that in the snow. Yes, I do. Alright, and now a Resistant Blizzard. Really good damage anyway, haha. <laughs> All right, I got another hit left in Kyurem if I swap it out. So I'm gonna bring in Tornadus, see if I can get Tailwind up there. And then I guess I should just Moonblast the Urshifu. I can also Veil again, predicting them to not use Brick Break. But I think getting rid of Urshifu will just clean up this game. No protects. Urshifu is down. And it's just Garchomp versus... Honestly, it's the thing that has a decent matchup in there. And we get a Rage Quit. Yep, keep bullying him, Kyurem. <laughs> Rockside didn't even hit Tornadus. Is that, why, is that why you were mad? Okay, we've got a Regulation F team. Annihilate, I don't see really any way to beat it up, but also Indeedee and Blood Moon, so maybe it's a final Gambit Ape. Grimmsnarl, Arcanine, Bundle, very interesting, very weird team. I would like to throw Blizzards, but final Gambit is terrifying. I guess just always having Golden Go in the back could work. Or in the front. Golden Go just seems good. I, I might just do Golden Go Nine Tails. Nine Tails is not Ghost, though. So if they want to gambit it, they could. Not gonna lead Incineroar. Don't want to get caught doing that. Uh, I'm obviously gonna bring Kiram. And then I think they want to go a Trick Room route. Incineroar would be good against basically just their Arcanine. Ogre Pond is okay against Arcanine. So yeah, those are the four. They don't seem to have any type of weather control. So I should be able to keep snow. Boo, no trainer card! Apart from like Earth Power... Oh, Annihilate Barkanine. Not what I expected. Not really sure how to react to that. I don't think Final Gambit in this position is the play for you. So I'm gonna just Nasty Plot and set Veil. I have to remember, I can't help in hand Golden Go. Yep, my Terra first, and I would think Golden Go is one of the slower mods on the field right now. So nothing from them. 
presumably a Flare Blitz into Golden Go, but I'll have Veil up before that. You're not Scarface. That's good. Oh, Golden Go's actually the fastest on the field? Yo? A okay. A Will O Wisp into Ninetales. Probably predicting some sort of swap, but I'm good. And then just a Rage Fist. No one's hit you. Or f wow! Oh, crit. Okay. Well, yeah, if you go and crit that. Cool. I think this would be a position to get Kyurem in. Soften up Arcanine with a Shadow Ball. Now I'm sure Kyurem's faster than Golden Go, yeah. So Kyurem's faster than all of them. I'm a little worried about 8 Terrastalizing, which is why I don't want to hit it. I don't want to give it more Rage Fist boosts than, it, than I have to. Like, I could Moon Blast it, but if they could just go like Terra Fire, then I Moon Blast them and get a drop, and now they're. 100 power rage fist plus 2 attack. You know, you don't want to be in a position like that. And the ape just protects. Okay, that's fine. Stream speed does not do enough damage. Excellent. Shadow Ball does a ton to Arcanine. Love it. Alright, yeah, this is a super simple Shadow Ball Blizzard. Blizzard will pick up Arcanine. Maybe take Ape, I don't know. But if they Terra, there's no Terra that's gonna get them around Blizzard and Shadow Ball. But a swap, maybe it's into Indeedy, that could take both. Grimstarl, that might take both, yeah. And then you get up Light Screen. Yeah, good play. I think that's a good play. Uh, can you actually take a plus two Shadow Ball in a Light Orb Blizzard, though? Like, I think you can, but I don't know if you can. Ooh, and we get the freeze, too. Oh, boy. Now, you might be able to take this Shadow Ball. No, you don't even take the Shadow Ball. Well, that's probably in your best interest now that you're frozen. <laughs> Bullying people with Blizzard. Do-do-do-do-do. Yeah, I think I'm in a pretty good position, I'd say. Iron Bundle... Okay. Golden Go is threatened by you. But, like... So? I can always protect Golden Go and then destroy the Iron Bundle. Now you predict that. Or you... Oh, maybe you predict that and you Encore my Kyurem into Blizzard. Then you take the Blizzard and then you can Freeze Dry next turn. Okay, maybe not. Goodbye! Oh, where were you? It just, it just disappeared. I forgot that Bundle messes with the camera so much. It hasn't been used a lot recently. But Bundle has always messed with the camera. You, the camera gets too close to it and it just vanishes. Well, now you just have an ape and an Arcanine that I know I'm faster than, so... GG's. You still have a Terra, though, so Shadow Ball is the right play. Do, 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 do. What you gonna do? What you gonna, what you gonna, what you gonna do? Do, do, do. Battle was cancelled. Alright, another successful bullying. Get the trainer card. Alright, and we're back from bullying children on the casual ladder. Did you have fun bullying children on the casual ladder? I know Kiram did. Kiram eats people, according to the Pokedex. So those children were lucky to get away with their lives. Anyways, I'm Jordy. And, uh, alright. Peace.